Good morning, President Emick, representatives from the Board of Trustees, Provost Siegel, members of the community, and members of the university administration, and the Jesuit community, faculty, students, and of course, family members and invited guests. Welcome to the Fairfield University's academic celebration for the undergraduate students class 2021. I heard the parents' plow is really louder than the students. <clears throat> as, a, as the Dean of Charles F. Dolan School of Business, it is my honor to preside over this morning's event to lead us through the order of exercise which culminate in the recognition of the academic achievement of our students. First, a quick but important word concerning our commitment to everyone's continued health and well-being. We ask for students and invited guests to please remain masked for the duration of this celebration. Further, we ask that you restrain from high, uh, high fives, handshakes, and hugs, as we are aware that our appreciation for each other must unfortunately be expressed in other ways during these times. As you know, the impact of the pandemic has caused our academic community to take a pause in this year and rethink how we can best honor our graduating students who have worked digitally even in the most dynamic, ever-changing environment. Today's celebration provides Fairfield time to personally recognize each student by name and major to afford each student the opportunity to make traditional walk across Spider-Mine Terrace while being greeted by President Nemec and members of the Fairfield University administration. For friends and loved ones who cannot join us today in person, please know that this celebration is being live streamed and will be available for viewing on the university's commencement website post-celebration. On Sunday, May 23rd, beginning at 9.30 a.m., the 71st commencement exercise of Fairfield University will be live streamed and also available to view at your convenience on the commencement website. At that time, the dean of each school and of the College of Arts and Science will present the candidates for graduation to President Nemec so he can confer the degrees in each program of study. The students' diplomas and official commencement programs will be mailed to the permanent addresses that are on a file with the Office of Registrar. It is now my pleasure to call to the podium the Reverend Gregory Kahn's of Society of Jesus to provide a prayer for our academic celebration. Please arise. Let us just relax, focus on where we are, and place ourselves in God's presence. Loving God, we come to you filled with gratitude for making us partners in your ongoing work of creation. You call us to be part of this community and bless us with a unique legacy that began with Ignatius Loyola and has been passed on from generation to generation. The gift of our mission, founded on the practice of reflection and discernment, enables us to make decisions which call us to stand in solidarity and kinship with all those who share our earthly journey 
and moves us to perform active service rooted in justice and in love. These gifts of our Ignatian heritage invite us to be part of a tradition that builds on the wisdom of the past with a vision open to the opportunities of the future. These gifts also challenge us to move beyond our norm, to broaden our imagination, to deeper our trust, to establish your kingdom here on earth. Fill us with enthusiasm and wonder as we receive these gifts with open minds, generous hearts, and willing spirits. Following the example of St. Ignatius, may we too labor and ask for no reward except that knowing we are doing your will. May we take full possession of this heritage and joyfully pass it on to those numerous women and men who walk behind us into the future. Amen. Thank you, Father Kahn's. I would now like to invite to the podium Dr. Christine Siegel, Provost and Chief Academic Officer, to offer introductory remarks. At the start of sixth grade, I changed schools. For reasons not relevant to my comments today, my parents decided that the school I had attended since kindergarten was no longer a good fit for our family and transferred my brother, my sister, and me to another one. I learned about the transfer on the last day of fifth grade when I received a report card that had no name listed in the space for next year's teacher. To me, the change was abrupt and unexpected. During the summer between fifth and sixth grade, my anxiety about this change only grew and was not helped by the fact that I did little to prepare. That September, I was in a new school with academic expectations much higher than I was used to. I found I was unable to achieve the grades I had previously enjoyed. Toughest of all was my English class where the curriculum was far ahead of what I had already learned and the teacher's feedback was harsher than I had ever experienced. So I worked at it. I studied hard. I spent countless extra help hours in the seat beside my teacher's desk. In January came midterm exams, something else which I had never experienced before. I was surprised and elated when I earned an A on my English test. It felt like the biggest thing I had ever done. And yet, I remember very clearly my English teacher handing me the graded test and simply saying, I knew you could do it all along. At the time, my 11-year-old self was furious. I could do it all along? Did she think it had been easy? Had she not known my struggle? Was my effort meaningless? It was only over time that I came to see my sixth grade English teacher not as my harshest critic, but as my biggest advocate. As an older student and even young adult, I would return to her classroom where I was always welcome. I would find my seat beside her desk whenever I needed a dose of reality or a shot in the arm of encouragement. I am fortunate that although she was the first, she was not the last of teachers, mentors, and colleagues in my life who at moments of achievement had said, I knew you had it in you. Thus, I have come to learn that it is those who believe in our accomplishments, not those who are surprised by them, who are truly our most faithful supporters. And so, class of 2021, as I look across this lawn at you who were faced with an abrupt and unexpected transition in your education, one that no doubt led to moments of anxiety and worry, one for which you had to adapt to new ways of learning, new routines, and higher expectations, one through which you worked tirelessly 
to earn bachelors of business degrees, to do what perhaps feels like the biggest thing you have ever done. In the words of my sixth grade teacher, I say to you, I knew you could do it all along. And I am not the only one. I am joined on this platform by fellow Fairfield University administrators and your deans. Seated among you are your professors. Out beyond are your family members, your friends, and your loved ones. All of us, your most ardent supporters, say we knew you had it in you. We say this not to deny the fears you may have faced or the challenges you may have encountered. We would never minimize the effort you expended, the creativity you demonstrated, nor the talents you employed. Rather, we say this because today, as we do every day, we recognize you for who you are and what you are capable of achieving. I trust that I am not the first person in your experience to say, I knew you could. More importantly, I am confident that I will not be the last. Because the achievement of a bachelor's degree, while significant, is not the final and probably not even the midterm achievement of your life. You will go on from here to do much more. I ask that as you go on, you do not forget the Fairfield who believed in you. Know that our confidence in you remains steadfast and that your company among us is always welcome. In the years to come, I invite you to return to your alma mater. Come find your seat at the new Convocation Center. Find your seat in the Quick Center. Find your seat in the library or find your seat in the chapel. Come celebrate at Alumni Family Weekend. Come give back to the next generation as a mentor, investor, or employer of fellow stags. I look forward to meeting you again. Because although I do not know the particular greatness you will achieve, I am confident of your success. Congratulations, class of 2021. I knew you could do it all along. Thank you. Thank you, Provost Siegel. Faculty marshals and students, please rise. We will now prepare for the students to be called onto Bidermine Terrace. As each student ascended to the top of the terrace, we will announce a name and major. Each student will pause to receive a scroll from the president and have a picture taken with him. Students, please then continue down the other side of the terrace and follow your faculty marshal back to your seats. It's now my pleasure to start the program. Matthew Tringola, Economics. Alex Batista, Economics. Gianni Caligari, Economics. Francis D'Angelo, Economics. Francis is the recipient of the Joan G. Walters Award. Ryan LeClaire, Economics. Ryan is the recipient of the Dolan School of Business Award in Economics and the Reverend William Holman SJ Award. <laughs> Shannon Ryan, Economics. 
Oscar Vieja Sanchez, Economics. Michael Abramo, Finance. Ann Alabrandi, Finance. James Amirati, Finance. Joseph Barbati, Finance. Terrence Cole Terrell, Cole Barnard, Finance. Donald Badamelli, Finance and International Business. Molly Bauer, Finance. Jacob Beam, Finance. Eric Bernhard, Finance. Matthew Bowles, Finance. Matthew Book, Finance. Reagan Bosalina, Finance. James Bowen, Finance. Giacomo Brancato, Finance. Liam Breen, Finance. Alexandra Bruno, Finance. Connor Bruno, Finance. John Buckney, Finance. Kaylee Butts, Finance. John Butts, Finance. Bryson Cafaro, Finance. John Campbell, Finance. William Catalano, Finance. John Sedopani, Finance. Matthew Sorelli, Finance. James Concannon, Finance. Lila Condon, Finance. Brooklyn Conti, Finance. Brooklyn is the recipient of the NFP Award. Griffin Corcoran, Finance. Madison Corman, Finance. Patrick Cornatiulo, Finance. Brian Crowley, Finance. Edward Cushing, Finance. Adam Zarnecki, Finance. Sarah Daly, Finance. Dominic DeCaro, Finance. Charles Del Grosso, Finance. Charles is the recipient of the Dolan School of Business Award in Finance and the Dolan School of Business Academic Achievement Award. Parker Delaquia, Finance. William Dontremont, Finance. Vincent Doran, Finance. Robert Work. Voretsky, Finance. Michael Ziuba, Finance. Rachel Easley, Finance. Nasser El Jamal, Finance. Philip Ferreira, Finance. <laughs> Justin Flanagan, Finance. <laughs> Nate Forbes, Finance. Jack Gallucci, Finance. Justin Green, Finance. Liam Griffin, Finance. Annette Gutnick, Finance. John Hatala, Finance. 
Jason Hebner, Finance. Luke Heckler, Finance. Frederick Hurley, Finance. Jason Huh, Finance. Matthew Mateen Kawaja, thank you. <laughs> Finance. John Kizildag, Ki John Kizildag, Finance. Ryan Knuth, Finance. Robert Konopka, Finance. Jack Kernutkit, Finance. Victoria Kravitsky, Finance. Jonathan Kosinski, Finance. Jonathan is the recipient of the Oren L. Grossman Award in Russian, East European, and Central Asian Studies. Joshua Kwan, Finance. Francesco Levetti, Finance. Matthew Lays, Finance. Ryan Leonard, Finance. Megan McGuire, Finance. Megan is the recipient of the Bank of America Professional Development Series Award. Rourke Magwood, Finance. Jack Malkowitz, Finance. There you go. <laughs> Joseph Marini, Finance. Matthew Matisi, Finance. Matthew Masseri, Finance. How about I say it for you? Jack McCarthy, Finance. And he loves his mother. <laughs> Kathleen McClaney, Finance. James McKenna, Finance. Haley McLaughlin, Finance. Kelsey McMillan, Finance. Connor McNamara, Finance. John McNamara, Finance. Robert Mitchell, Finance. Anthony Malia, Finance. Brian Moran, Finance. Julia Moynihan, Finance. Armando Mujica, Finance. Jacob Nichols, Finance. Ready? <laughs> Maria Nitti, Finance. Thomas O'Brien, Finance. Will O'Kane, Finance. John O'Neill Finance. John Pagano Finance. Anaid Pessel Finance. Corey Quinlan Finance. Francis Rosato Finance. Domenico Prococo Finance. Kenneth Pollard Finance. Mia Parolo Finance. Leela Full Finance and Marketing. Gina Pecco Finance and Accounting. Lucas Penderson Finance. Cole Peabody Finance. Maximilian Stefan Finance. Tristan Sotil Finance. John Sito Finance. Kana Sakura Finance. Michael Chavello Finance. Sophia Rizzo Finance. Timothy Richardson Finance. 
Peter Reed Finance. Daniela Rasheri Finance. Ryan Uccellini Finance. Nicholas Siga Finance. Matthew Thurwartha Finance. William Thompson Finance. Drew Thompson Finance. Audrey Tagalaltala Finance. Brett Sullivan Finance. Nicole Strijek Finance. Taylor Strau Finance. Christopher Vallone Finance. Christopher Venaria Finance. Jonas Fairgreen Finance. Daniel Villeneuve Finance. Joseph Wankunitz Finance. Nina Ward Finance. Nicholas Wynett Finance. James Wright Finance. Gwyneth Whalen Finance. Colin Williams Finance. Connor Wimble Finance. Jacob Zarkinet Finance. Sebastian Zoletta Finance. David Barreto Information Systems. Catherine Dalton Information Systems. Ryan Drillock Information Systems. Dylan Freed Information Systems. Margaret Hahn Information Systems. Trang Nguyen Information Systems. Recipient of the Dolan School of Business Award in Information Systems and Operations Management. Rebecca Ruek, Information Systems. Allison Troy, Information Systems. Thank you. Hannah Barfield Management. Patrick Boyle Management. Hunter Brown Management. Recipient of the Future Tech in Enterprises Incorporated Award. Gerson Gallero, Management. Stephanie Chu, Management. Dominic DiMartino, Management. Michael Fitzgerald, Management. Matthew Keating, Management. Annika Maki, Management. Recipient of the Dolan School of Business Award in International Business. Matthew McGlinchke, Management. Trey McLaughlin, Management. Calvin Peters, Management. Megan Riley, Management. Recipient of the Dole of School of Business Award in Management. Daniela Romano, Management. Matthew Romano, Management. Megan Roy, Management. Michael Salvo, Management. Joseph Venero, Management. Miles West, Management. Drew Westford, Management. Mary Driscoll, Management, Entrepreneur. Matthew Magano, Management, Entrepreneur. Brittany Galazzo, Management. 
human resource concentration. <laughs> Natalie LaRusso, management, human resource concentration. Now, it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Mark R. Nemec, President of Fairfield University, to share his remarks with a member of Class 2021. Thank you, Dean Lee. To Fairfield University's Charles F. Dolan School of Business Class of 2021, allow me to offer my most enthusiastic congratulations and my most heartfelt gratitude for how you have managed these remarkable 15 months. Each of you has tackled the uncertainty of the pandemic with aplomb, demonstrating an exceptional focus on your academic continuity and curating your student experience to the utmost. As I will reiterate, during our virtual ceremony on Sunday, and as I stress at most every academic celebration we hold at Fairfield, never forget the world needs what you do. Fairfield is blessed to have an approach, a commitment to value-based, student-centric, outcomes-focused education, which calls us to be a model for others, to be a model of a modern Jesuit Catholic University to be a model of modern excellence. You are the instantiation of this commitment. Our commitment to educate men and women for and with others in pursuit of societal stewardship and productive citizenship. Your education is ever relevant. In addition to celebrating each and every one of you individually, I would be remiss if in sharing these final remarks, I did not also reflect just for a moment on what you, the class of 2021, as a collective, means to me. We started together. I arrived at Fairfield when you did. My first days on campus coincided with your orientation in the spring of 2017. And I recall as I enjoyed a most pleasant Friday evening to start Labor Day weekend, most expectantly looking forward to welcoming you on Sunday when you had moved in. As you may know, that evening was anything but typical. At 2.30 a.m., we were awoken by the sound of a fire alarm, a false alarm, I had assumed. Within seconds, however, my oldest son alerted me to the fact there was a fire towards the back of the house. Susie and I rushed to get everyone, our four children, a friend of our middle son who was sleeping over, our dog and our cat, out and to safety. As we gathered together on the curb, Susie asked where Philip, our youngest, our 10-year-old son was. He was not with us. I ran back into the house and up the stairs to Philip's room. He was not there, so I assumed he made it out and thus proceeded to head back downstairs and out the door, feeling my way along the wall as the house had become thick with smoke. Philip, however, was not outside. He was still nowhere to be found. So I hurried back in a third time, this time accompanied by a neighbor who had come over to help. We crawled on our stomachs, iPhone flashlights in hand, calling Philip's name. Suddenly, I heard from outside, he's over here. I scurried outside, believing from where the voices had come, he was at the doors leading out to the front porch. Instead, upon heading out of the house, I saw he was trapped on the second floor, standing at a window smoke billowing behind. Break the window, I yelled from immediately below. He did. The antique pane window meant he had a very small opening through which to crawl, 
He fit himself through and hesitated. I don't honestly recall if I vocalized my urge that he jump, but jump into my arms, he did. Thankfully, other than a slew of stitches on his leg from squeezing through the broken glass in the window, he was unscathed. In fact, with the audacity that comes with youth, I had to ask him to come down from 20 feet up in a tree the very next day. It's an activity he still eagerly undertakes today. I share all of this with you for a couple reasons. First, to give depth and detail to my gratitude as your welcome and your continued commitment to our collective enterprise has been most exceptional and will never be forgotten. Second, I share to give context to these closing thoughts I offer before you depart. These thoughts are the same I articulated during my welcome to you on that move-in Sunday, just 36 hours or so removed from the fire. But as witnessed in your resilience and your fortitude in the face of this pandemic and all its associated challenges and uncertainty, these are not admonitions to do something new. Rather, they are simply reminders of one sentiment and three habits I ask, I pray, you continue to exhibit as they have served you so well here. The sentiment is a simple but important one. You are special. You are a gift. An evening like that of the fire is very humbling, humiliating almost. It makes one feel very small. But as small as we may at times feel, as large as the world and as vast as the universe might seem, we are also reminded we are never zero. We are never nothing. We are never alone. Rather, we are always blessed to be part of something grander. In addition to this sentiment, the habits, as I mentioned before, you already keep, but I would strongly encourage you to maintain. First, be curious. We are called to truth, beauty, and grace. As Ignatians, that call stems from asking the perennial questions. Who am I? Whose am I? And who am I called to be? Second. Be bold. This institution and its remarkable history have been driven by people who recognize the impact they can have. You are stewards of our legacy. And finally, and perhaps most importantly, be kind. This community is a special one, one you will look back upon at its best with ever reverence as an exemplar of what we can be when we embrace the dignity of every soul and focus on all as individuals. Be curious, be bold, be kind. Three habits I ask we all perpetuate ad maiorum de glorium, all for the greater glory of God. Be well. God bless, and go Stags. Thank you, President Namek. Our academic celebration for the undergraduate student, class 2021, is now concluded. Congratulations to our students. <laughs> I wanted to again remind you of the virtual commencement exercises on Sunday, May 23rd, beginning at 9.30 a.m. via university's commencement website. Faculty, marshals, and students Please stand and begin processing from Bellarmine Lawn. We ask invited guests to remain seated until all students have left the lawn. 
the students will process and proceed back to the Kinesis Dunaluma staging area, directly across the way from our location here at Balamine. Family and friends, you are encouraged to meet up with your students at that location. Thank you all for joining us today.